Hello everybody, today I'm doing a quick overview on the new Umarex licensed Beretta M9A3. So it comes in a nice looking plain box. I know those two don't really go together but it is both. It's not overdone but it's just right. On the side of the box it shows the picture of the pistol and some information about it. So it is a CO2 power pistol. It's doing about 350 FPS out of the box with it being CO2. It's got an adjustable hop up. It's full blowback and it has a 22 round capacity magazine. So inside the box you've got your instruction manual, the do's, don'ts and how to's. You've got the pistol. You get a small packet of BBs. You can use them if you want. They're of reasonable quality. I still wouldn't bother personally. And you get an Allen key for changing the CO2 as well as the magazine. Moving the box to one side. So, as I mentioned, it is a fully licensed model of the M9A3. So this is the one that's just lost out on the contract with the American military as of 2018 that we're in. This is the tan version. So it's got a metal slide, polymer lower, polymer grips. It has a rail for mounting a torch or laser. A working slide stay for when the magazine is empty. Mag release working safety, so a fire safe. And of course the trigger is a double action trigger. As with all M9s, I wouldn't recommend using it as a double action trigger, but the option is there. Fixed dot sights, line the three up. And it also comes with a 40mm counterclockwise thread on the end, so it's all ready to take a tracer unit, suppressor or muzzle brake, depending on what your style of play is. With it being full blowback, the slide comes back every time and returns when you're loading a new BB or when you've loaded a new mag and you've hit the slide release. It has an adjustable hop up, to get to that you need to press that button in and bring this lever around. Slide comes off nice and easy. And just inside, don't know if you can see it, there's a little silver disc. You just rotate that one way or the other, and that's how you adjust the hop. One way will apply hop, the other will remove it. I believe if you screw it clockwise, it will apply hop. Put it back on, line up the runners, pull it back and hit the, it's going to show me up, pull it back and hit the lever back up and then you're ready to go. With it being a CO2 magazine, this one already has CO2 in it, otherwise I would show you how to load it. Take your Allen key and you unscrew the base, so counterclockwise, drop in a new CO2 with the top, the, so the narrow end to the top of the mag and then just tighten it down. You should hear it puncture. It may begin to leak a bit. Just tighten it a little bit more and then you'll hear the leaking stop and you know it's ready to go. You load your 22 rounds in. You can either load them from the top or you can pull down the follower and there is a little slot to start loading BBs here, just wide enough to put a BB in if you want to use a speed loader. So no BBs in it, I'm just going to dry fire it. So it is cocked. I shouldn't have put it in how I did, so I should always pull the slide back, then put the magazine in, especially if it's got BBs in it, otherwise you can damage the nozzle. Holding down the slide release.
and then once it's empty, it'll lock back like that. With it being a metal slide, it has quite a nice kick, especially with it being CO2. You saw how quickly it returned on the video when I was firing it. It is snappy, it is accurate. I've had one of these up shooting up to 60 meters with the stock hop up and it is brilliant, but I am an M9 fan, so I am a little bit biased. But in my personal opinion, it is brilliant. Uh, it will never replace my Samurai Edge, because nothing ever will. But if there was going to be something that did replace it, I would probably say it's going to be one of these. Just with the kick, the feel of it, it just sits right in the hand, the textured grips. It's all just right. And I have felt the real steel version of this. I was lucky enough to go and go to a show that had it. And you can't tell the difference. Even the weight is there or thereabout, especially with the magazining. Of course, the real steel is with the magazine empty as opposed to loaded, but it still gives you that same sort of feel. So overall, it's a really nice gun. Fully traded, like I said, licensed by Umarex. And it's just a fantastic bit of kit. So I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.